Today while geocaching, I learn a valuable lesson. That wasn't a geocache. Ooh, mustard. Hi, I'm Michael Wright, and I'm a traveling, adventuring, geocaching type of guy. I love to get out and explore new places and find cool hidden treasures. Well, sort of treasures, it's mostly toys, honestly. This is Adventures in Things. Okay, so today I have decided to take Highway 97 back to the island. I'm not gonna take the Coquihalla. I am going to take the Fraser Canyon. And when leaving Kamloops to go back to the island or the coast, you have a couple of options, the Coke or the Canyon. So naturally on this journey, I will be making stops to find a few geocaches and to show you some really cool places I know about. This one is called um, Savannah Hill Lake View. And it's uh, really amazing. You get to look back over onto uh, back into Kamloops. It's a uh, really beautiful area. There's some rock climbing and all that jazz here. So uh, anyways, let's find this first cache. So uh, there's something I really gotta be careful of around here as well is um, I don't wanna just start jamming my hands in holes like in other places, cause there could be rattlesnakes and I really don't feel like getting bit. I kinda wanna make it all the way home. So I gotta be very careful about that and just kind of maybe poke things with sticks. I'm, I'm pretty much like a teenage boy. I think I just found it. Never mind. I shouldn't die. What we got here? <laughs> okay, five kilometers into the trip and I found a geocache, not too shabby. Let's, uh, let's hit the old dusty trail here. There are plenty of places to stop along the Canyon Highway. Many of them are closed for some reason or another. Pandemic this, government's taking your Thanks. rights that. So I'm showing you some places I like and are probably not closed. Like this place, which has a very welcoming barbed wire fence. Okay, made that look easy. Somewhere between Kamloops and Ashcroft, right around here, no, maybe it's down here, no, it's up here, is this hidden gem. This little beauty is a quick walk off the highway, and once you get there, you can be doing this. Hey, I wanted to show you this cave, this grike, if you will, if you want to get technical about things, and uh, show you what's on the outside here, and uh, it's this waterfall. Isn't that uh, incredible? Anyways. Let's get going and find some more geocaches. And back on the road, we work our way through the beautiful city of Cache Creek. And we also pass by this weird rock that oddly looks like a gorilla, maybe? Maybe something else? I don't know. Okay, here in Ashcroft, across from Ashcroft Manor, and I'm looking for one that's called Ashcroft Manor. It's supposed to be just off the highway somewhere here. And uh, take a little look-see here, what we got going on. So it's gotta be here. I'm probably looking right at it, which usually happens, especially with me. I tend to look right at the geocaches and I'm like, where, where is it? Well, and then I trip over it and I'm like, I still don't know where it is. Okay, so as I thought, I was pretty much tripping right over it and it's one of my favorite uh, geocache crates. Before 1980 something, just click on the video above if you want to learn more, the Fraser Canyon was the main highway to get to the coast. Now most folks take the Coquihalla because it's about an hour quicker, although I don't feel like it has quite the same beauty and elegance as the Fraser Canyon. But I'll let you be the judge of that. So I'm halfway between Spencer's Bridge and Lillooet, and I'm at a little park called Gold Pan, which is right on the Thompson River. And this geocache also happens to be called Gold Pan, and it's supposed to be right around here somewhere. So let's take a look, see. 
I'm gonna read a little bit more about it and uh, and, and see what it says. But I, it says that I'm right on top of it, basically. So hold the phone. Just a little tiny lock and lock. Whew. It is a sweltering hot day out here today. Beautiful day to get out geocaching. We're gonna take a look at the Thompson River. But little did he know, we already looked at the Thompson River. So we went to a waterfall and drove to Boston Bar instead. I'm here in Baston Bath and I was told this place is garbage, but I don't think it is garbage. I think the people that say that are garbage. I <laughs> know, but uh, I'm here in Boston Bar looking for a cache and it's uh, just up yonder, I do believe. Cache rides under. Oh, I wonder if it's a magnetic one. <clears throat> it's under yonder somewhere. Is it the tree? I'm so dumb. Where's that tree gonna grow to? Oh, that's not it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to um, DNF this one because uh, I can't find it. I've walked around this thing like a million times. My um, the app says that I'm like right here, but I can't see it. Um, activity showed two months ago someone found it, but um, I don't know. And I got a ferry to catch. Oh my God, I just found it. Look at this. Ah, oh, my Atlanta. Ow. Uh. Okay, note to self, never give up. Keep looking. Talk to the camera like you're gonna give up and then bam, find it. She's a little wet. Oh, maybe I should take that car the rest of the way. Wheels leading the way. If you wanna do Fraser's Canyon properly, you would want to take a couple days and stop and take in all the beauty and tunnels this forgotten highway has to offer. I apparently did it in just under 10 minutes, however. There are seven tunnels between Boston Bar and Yale. They were constructed between 1957 and 1964 as part of Canada's only road. The shortest tunnel is 57 meters. The longest is 610 meters, one of North America's longest. The order of which from north to south are China Bar, Farabee, Hell's Gate, Alexandra, Sailor Bar, Saddle Rock, but only with permission, and Yale. I'm just on the outskirts of Abbotsford and I was supposed to meet up with a fellow geocacher or something. He said, he said something like having a hot dog stand in behind the men's washroom. So um, he'd help me find a geocache. And anyways, I figured I'd meet up with him, get a geocache, have a hot dog and uh, see where it goes. That wasn't a geocache. Ooh, mustard. Well, like, subscribe, I'll see you later.